Exhausted from seven days on the road, this Afghan family is relieved to have found shelter at a mosque in Berlin. In this moment, uh, I feel safe, good, <laughs> because we face to good people, Muslim <laughs> friends. Khadija and her family had just built a new life in Ukraine when they were forced to flee intensifying Russian attacks. They crossed from Poland to Germany not knowing what to expect with nothing but their bare necessities. Just a little bit clothes, uh, a bit document or, or uh, parrot, uh, two cats. Mohammed too had left Afghanistan hoping to find a brighter future in Europe, only to once again find himself fleeing conflict. Uh, Afghanistan also is fighting because Taliban is coming, so very have a problems, very problems, not jobs, not working, not salaries, not everyone's problem. So come to Ukraine. <laughs> Ukraine be also fighting. Yeah, it's a very big problems. The Central Council of Muslims in Germany has called on mosques and Muslim NGOs across the country to support those in need. Here at the new mosque in Berlin Spandau, officials say they received a call that Muslim refugees arriving from Ukraine were left stranded for 20 hours at the train station with no place to go. So they mobilized donations and made room for at least 50 people. This mosque has turned its classrooms into shelters for refugees. Beyond offering a temporary place to stay, its members are also helping with often complicated paperwork in German. That can get the refugees to their next destination, at least for those who know what it is. Mosque officials have booked train tickets for a family who plan to continue their journey to Norway. For others who want to stay, they're helping with asylum applications. But their help goes even further. What they primarily need is caring, because these people have come a long way, taking their warriors with them, but leaving family behind. So while we do offer meals and clothes, our imams are here to support them mentally. More than two million Ukrainian refugees have fled their country over the past two weeks. While the majority has chosen to stay in neighboring Poland or Romania, more than 50,000 have arrived in Germany, where dozens of volunteers are offering food, medical supplies and private accommodation with German families. The images from Berlin are a reminder of the 2015 migrant crisis when more than a million Syrian refugees arrived in Germany. Back then they faced more backlash than those arriving from Ukraine today. Yet what they have in common is they're glad to be safe and can continue their journey no matter where it will take them. Sibel Karkusch, TRT World, Berlin.